Hello there. In this video, we're going to remove backgrounds on an AI generated image and we're going to use its stable diffusion with automatic 1111 installations. And we're going to use its special extension for this. So let's go first install our extensions and we're going inside the extension tab. We're going to click on available. Next, click load from. After this, I'm going to just uncheck install it because this extension already installed on my computer. Next, I'm going to type remove background. It's okay, just type for letters RAM B, and you can see right here the extension appear. In your case, if you don't install it, it should says install. Click on this, and this is will install our extension. After this, I highly recommend to restart the server itself because it will use some DLL which need to re-register with your application. After you restart it, it should shrink in your extension install it as available and enable. As well, you can go and verify if you're going inside the extras and you scroll down below and you can see now remove background should be available for you. So let's go ahead and see how it will work. First, we're going to text to image and let's type some prompt. So I'm going to use it warrior, woman, golden white armor, portrait, and negative NSFW, new deform, ugly crop. We're going to use it sampler method. Let's DPM to UTM cars and we're going to about 35 sampling step. As well, because I want to do portrait, I'm going to um, change from 512 to 768 so it will be about 2 by 3 so the next we'll leave it save the same and we'll leave all as default let's go ahead and click generate okay so right here we have it, our image created next we want to remove it this is located in extra to send to the extras we just go down below and click on an icon that says send image and generation parameter to extra tab Let's go ahead and click on this and here we should have it, our single image available. So let's go see what parameters we have it. We leave it everything as default. I just want to go down to remove background and select U2 net. We'll leave it everything by default and let's click generate. And right here you can see our image without background. It actually did a very good job. We also can verify this by using alpha mask. And this is useful because we can use it alpha mask in our animations. So let's go ahead down where the remove background and we'll just click and says return mask. Checked. Let's go next and click generate. When it's completed you can see right here we have our mask working and it's actually done very good so in this case we can use this mask and other elements with our um, project like for example animations to do the animations and multiple you want to take image split next we can go inside the batch processing from directory and specify input and output but we'll do this if you want to render series of the images for example for your animations or other things um, I'll show you how to do this with our extras and it's just we're going to use a batch from directory. The reason why you want to do this, for example, if we have it animations and we create our character, sometimes background may be um, not what you're looking or you want overlay. So in this case, we can separate characters from background. So let's see just on a normal what we're going to do. I have it right here in the directory already done the frames that already created and output we'll just go ahead and select our different directory for this let's go ahead copy paste so we have our frames and output we'll just skip it this to zero to one this is all of the stuff all what we need to do is just go ahead enable and we want a return mask is enabled so this is will be our original frames and our output should create it just a mask. Let's go ahead, click generate. And notice at this time, we don't really worry about any model we're using or anything because all what it does, it's need to recognize our object 
and creating for us output frames. And we'll monitor our output directory. You can see right here, it's creating those frames with the alpha mask for us. So it's kind of very nice, it does. Now, depend on how many images you have it. And honestly, I have it quite a bit here, frames. So it may take a little bit time to create. But again, it is easiest way to create a mask. So I did interrupt a little bit early, but you can see right here we have it all this mask already done for us. And it's actually work very well. Next, to use this, you want to go inside the image to image. And inside the image to image, we have it options below where we have it in painting and batch. So in painting or upload, this area you will use it if you need to do a single images. For example, you can go ahead and put it a mask in one, and you can put it the image in second. This way is change, fill up your infra, fill up what you want to render in background and everything, and it will work. With a batch, will be very similar. So let's go click on a batch, and you notice right here you have your input directory, and this is where the images is reside. In our case, it will be this one. So let's go next. We want to output and we have it render. And of course, if we need it, have it our uh, mask, we can go ahead and put it mask directory right here. So this is how you want to do it. The You may need it, have a little test or you need it in version mask. So what's happening if we're going to in paint and you notice right here in paint a mask by default. So it's meaning this person will be changed. So I will just go ahead and type something just the color so we can preview. Okay, we'll just leave it everything as default. Uh, maybe change back to ours. 30. I think everything just by default. So I just want show you what areas will paint in this case and you can see right here you see kind of reddish the mask inside so you want to be in paint not mask then the model that we're using should be fine and background kind of reddish well let's try to read red so i'll put it on a background now also i think i need to actually put it properly with because it's a white screen for this but you can see how it's a work and affecting in this case. So the same if you do with um, the other ones with a batch, you may need to invert your mask, but it's okay. Just start processing and you'll notice if you need to do this way. Some additional properties I want to show you if you want to fine tune the mask it's applied. If you're going inside and click alpha mating, right here you will have it threshold for the foreground and the background and you can change them by decreasing threshold for the foreground and increasing for the background to cut a little bit more off as well as a road side it is on the side how much fuzziness do you want to add in some cases i found that these variables bar does not necessarily work as precise as wanted and I don't know if there will be update in the future, but general, even with a basic preset as original, it still perform very well. Well, I hope you found this video useful, give some additional information and in a way to process your images and videos with a compositing and impressing background. Thank you for watching and have a great day.